2023 BMW X7 first test, big can still mean fun to drive. Pros. Still drives like a smaller SUV. Quicker and more fuel efficient than before. Simplified cockpit. Cons. Gets expensive with options. Not as spacious as some competitors. Slow power folding rear seats. Significant updates came to the 2023 BMW X7 luxury three-row SUV lineup for its refresh, including new powertrains, touchscreen, and the brand's first 23-inch wheels. What do the changes mean for the entry-level xDrive 40i? And do they make the X7 a better player in the segment than the 2019 model that finished fourth out of four in our luxury full-size crossover comparison? Quick for a brick. For a big three-row, the lesser X7 in the range has always been able to hustle. The refreshed 2023 xDrive 40A only widens the gap, offering 40 more horsepower and 67 more lbft of torque from its 3.0-liter turbo inline-six and mild hybrid system than its predecessor. The powertrain also receives a new 8-speed automatic with sprint mode, a feature that downshifts the transmission into its lowest possible gear and, for a short time, switches everything into the most athletic settings. Every 2023 x 7 is all-wheel drive. Mash the throttle, and this thing boogies. Getting to 60 miles per hour from a stop in the xDrive 40i now takes 0.6 seconds less than before, under 5.0 seconds. The same goes for the quarter mile, which happens in under 14 seconds with the 2023 X7 traveling 4.2 miles per hour faster at the finish. That's approaching the performance of the 2024 X7 M60i, which comes with a 523 horsepower turbo V8 and can reach 60 miles per hour in as quick as 4.5 seconds, according to BMW. Compare this to the current Lincoln Navigator Black Label AWD, which comes with a larger 3.5-liter turbo V6 that makes 440 horsepower and 510 lbft of torque, advantages of 65 horsepower and 112 lbft over our BMW. The bigger and heavier Navigator needs 5.8 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and 14.4 seconds in the quarter at 96 miles per hour, 1.0 and 0.9 second longer than the X7, respectively. Towering Corner Carver Powertrain polish is still excellent, barely noticeable, really, and the X7 drives like a smaller crossover. Body control is good, thanks partly to a standard air suspension that was retuned for 2023. Even with the new, optional 23-inch wheels, which our X7 had, the ride is comfortable and quiet. This is an improvement compared to the pre-refresh xDrive 40i. On track, the X7's performance improves in both our lateral acceleration loop and racetrack in a bottle figure eight test relative to the pre-refresh model. It's now better than the last Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 we tested. The less powerful GLS SUV used to return better results on the skid pad, 0.87 Gs, and figure 8, 26.4 seconds at 0.70 Gs, than the outgoing X7, but that script has been flipped with the 2023. The chassis is mostly neutral with a hint of understeer at the vehicle's limits. We appreciate the weight in the steering and how it offers some feedback, unlike the steering in many big SUVs. But maybe the xDrive 40i's most impressive feat is how quickly it stops. It's not improved over the last X7, but it's noteworthy nonetheless. Consider the 2023 M2 Sport Coupe can come to a full stop from 60 miles per hour in 100 feet, just 5 feet less than the 1 ton heavier 2023 xDrive 40i. Moreover, the refreshed base model has gained 100 plus pounds and can still get the job done in a little over 105 feet. The brake dive we encountered upon sudden braking with the pre-refresh X7 was better controlled this time in sport mode, and brake system operation was otherwise excellent and easy to modulate. Better MPG, too. With a new powertrain comes new efficiency ratings from the EPA, and there's some good news there, too. Fuel economy has improved compared to the pre-refresh X7, but it only returns to its pre-mild hybrid levels. That is to say, when the xDrive 40i first picked up its electric motor for 2021, its efficiency got worse. 
We're now back to 2020 fuel economy, still better than the 2023 GLS 450's 1823 MPG city slash highway and the Navigator black labels 1521 MPG. The X-Drive 40i's range on a full tank also beats its two rivals. Executive Touches Our 2023 X-Drive 40i came equipped with five optional packages. Of them, we're loving the $3,950 Executive Package, which elevates the X7's cabin with glass center, console controls, massaging front seats, gesture control, heated and cooled cup holders, rear door window shades, and a 16-speaker Harman Kardon Premium Audio Upgrade, there's also an available 20-speaker system. This X7 base model also has the $1,600 Climate Comfort Bundle, which adds rear heated seats, to go with the newly standard fronts, front ventilated seats, and a 5-zone climate control system. BMW also sprung for the optional Alcantara headliner, leather dash, and beautifully perforated, quilted merino leather upholstery. This thing came reasonably loaded, but you don't need to add another $17,900 in options, shown here, to get an upscale X7. Standard features include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, over-the-air software updates, head-up display, panoramic moonroof, and heated front armrests and steering wheel. Power folding side mirrors, rain-sensing wipers, and remote engine start are also on every 2023 X7. The X7 gets its new 14.9-inch touchscreen from the iX electric SUV, which is 2.6 inches larger than the unit it replaces. It's in the same curved housing that includes the driver's 12.3-inch cluster display, and the climate and infotainment system controls that used to be on the dash are now run solely via touchscreen interface. The styling of the center stack and console is cleaner and the graphics of both screens sharp, but forget trying to adjust climate settings on the go through the display. It's much easier and safer now to do it via voice control. Living Spaces it hasn't grown, so as before HX7 interior space remains on the smaller side among full-size luxury three-row rivals, but by no means is the seven-passenger family hauler small. It offers more front-row headroom than the larger 2023 GLS 450 and Navigator, and 5.7 more cubic feet of cargo space with both rear rows folded than the Mercedes SUV. Stowing them requires little effort, too, thanks to power folding seats that can be activated from the driver's position, rear doorways, and rear cargo opening, but the automation is not quick. Cargo Area The X7's rear entrances are large, and its doors swing open wide. Although it's been around for a while, we still dig BMW's clever grocery-catching split liftgate. And you know how much we love our interior cubbies, here found in the doors and at the bottom of the center stack, there's even one behind the center console for second row passengers. There's also USB charging for both rear rows, and third row space isn't bad, so long as you're not too much over 6 feet tall. Verdict It's no small praise when our vehicle testers make comparisons to BMW M sports cars, and the 2023 X7 xDrive 40i inspired just that for its smooth quickness and fantastic driving manners that include logic-defying brakes. That it's more efficient than last year is a big plus, as is the updated interior, with its simpler, more tech-forward styling. The fun might be missing from the brand's bigger cars like the entry-level 5 Series, but there's no shortage of it driving the practical X7. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.